please don't wake me from this What's going on legends, LDG Alden here. Today I'm back with episode 2 of series 1 of our Game Maker Studios top down game development tutorials. To start guys, another quick reminder, this series goes up every single Tuesday. The last time guys we worked on creating the character and basically allowing it to move, giving it some sort of a key input system and allowing just two different types of movement based on a script for WASD and WS. This time we're going to be working on walls and basically obstacles of any sort, which would is the same thing as a wall, also making it so the player collides into it. What you know guys is that for the WS, so if you see in the script over here, the WS movement, collision for that is a little trickier and it takes a lot more. So one thing I want to do is I want to wait on that. Even though this episode is based on collision, we're going to focus on WASD movement for WS guys. We will set up a basic uh, collision system of some sort. Not the best one we can do because there's a lot of things that you have to take into effect later when we start making other things that can be affected. So we need to, I want to wait and give it some time and then eventually when I come up with the best system, we will add it. So it'll probably be like a little added part or maybe like a separate little tiny video. I'm not sure yet how we're going to go about it. For now, we're going to focus on WASD movement and making perfect collision for that. And then, eventually, we will work on WS. For now, though, we'll give it a bit of a temporary system. Guys, so to start this off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create another sprite. This sprite's going to be for the wall, the solid object, whatever you want, obstacle, any sort of thing. You're going to want to do the exact same way we created the player sprite by doing create sprite and then give it the prefix of SPR underscore and then name it whatever you want. This is going to be a wall, a basic square wall thing, something like that. However you want to name it, edit sprite. Now, this can be as whatever you want. You can load in one, you can create it. I'm just going to go very default with it, and we're going to make a 32 by 32 square and just make it a black solid square. This is going to act as the default solid object. Now, you can make this, and then eventually you could add more ones. You could add whatever you want. For now, this is going to be the basic one, and you don't need to mess with the origin, the masking, anything like that. Don't worry about it. Once you have that, you're good to go. You're going to want to go to objects next, and then you're going to want to create an object, of course, with the prefix of OBJ, and then pretty much whatever I guess you named your sprite is fine. So make sure you set the sprite, same way that you always would, to the wall. And then one thing, now this is important for the WS mouse movement, check it as solid. Making sure this is solid will allow you to do the collision type that we're going to set as default for the WS one. Now, it doesn't affect WASD, but either way, just have it just in case. So, once you have that, that's good. That's going to act as a solid object that you will be colliding into. Once you go into your scripts, now, one thing you want to do first, make sure, because we are going to be working with WASD first, go into the step event of the player and make sure that it does WASD as the script so that you're not trying to run the mouse movement one and it doesn't work and you're all confused. So go ahead and go into the WASD script. Now you're going to see in here we obviously still have the four input types for each key. Now we need to add an AND statement. An AND statement basically means that both statements or all these statements together need to equal true or need to be capable of committing and all that and everything in order for it to run the statements below. So right now we just have it so it does one thing. Now to add a second one, do two ampersands, so two little and symbols, and it will basically say and whatever comes next. Both of these need to work out and then it will run. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do place underscore and you'll see place free. This is basically meaning if there's nothing there. So you're going to want to check it. You're going to have to do this is where you kind of check the X and Y based on how it's moving. So W, it's obviously moving the Y negative so you want to do x comma so the x doesn't matter in this one but the y does so you're going to want to do y minus global dot spd or whatever you named your speed so that basically means because it's obvious the same thing it's running here so you pretty much want it and make sure you close your parentheses too but pretty much what you're saying is if that place is free then yes you can move that way if there's something blocking you obviously you can't move there so pretty much you can copy paste this into all four and make sure you have it all and then just put it at the end. Make sure there's still the two parentheses, not like what I just did there, so that it still all runs. And then 
you're going to want to tweak these a little bit. For this one, all you need to do is change this to plus speed. These ones you're going to want to change so that it does the Y. So it alters the Y and then have just Y as default. So you don't want to change the Y in the bottom two, but you want for the X to be the changing one. So this is pretty much going to check. Okay, so for instance, the first one, if W is being pressed and if there's nothing in the way, if I was to minus the player's Y. And it does the same, basically just changing the X and Y to plus and minus and all that for all four. Once you have that, you're good to go. You can check mark that. Good. And then go into the room. Now to go, just go into the room. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the objects tab. And you're going to want to make sure that you go down to here where it says object to add with the left mouse. Click on the wall. Make sure you have the wall. And then pretty much place it wherever you want. You can put it anywhere around the player if you want just so that you can test it all over any place that you want and once you have those however you want it go ahead and run the game once we run it right here there we go we got it loading and what it's going to do is it'll compile it and we're good now we can test it so as you can see we still have the wasd and when it gets close it doesn't move it doesn't collide into the wall no matter what wall you're on does not collide into it and you know it might be off a little bit which is okay it doesn't really matter that much if it's like a little bit off you might get stuck on wall somewhat, which is only because if it's trying to move and it realizes, hey, there's a block there. So pretty much it will work fine if you can see it doesn't let you go through walls and you can't collide into them, which is good. You don't get actually stuck in them. You might be a little like slick on some edges, but that's pretty much how it should be. We can always like tweak some of that stuff with other ways of doing it, different wall types. But that's going to be the WASD movement. So that works fine. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the WS movement. So the WS movement, guys, is a little bit different. We can keep the wall object everything we want. Make sure that you change your step events so that it has WS as the script. And the other thing you want to do, now this one's so much simpler, but at the same time, it doesn't work as efficient. And it's a little, little weirder, which is why it's going to be a temporary one. So we find the way that I prefer that we should do this so that we know we're doing this the best way that we can and that it'll work for upcoming episodes and anything else that we plan to add. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the move up here, this tab, and you're going to see one that looks in the jump. It's going to say bounce. Add that into here. And what you're going to want to do is bounce. Doesn't matter precisely or not precisely. Really, it doesn't make a huge difference. And just say against solid objects. Because as you remember earlier, we made sure when we added the wall, it was checked solid. So that will bounce it off solid objects. Now, if you are to run it, you'll see that it works perfectly fine. But the only thing is, is it doesn't stop up when it hits a wall. It'll actually bounce. So as you can see, it kind of bounces off the walls. This one you won't get stuck on. A little bit like somewhat stuck on walls like the other one. Except, as you can see, that is kind of annoying that it does bounce. And later when we get into viewpoints and changing the player's views, that will definitely shake the screen a little bit. So we're going to eventually have to change this. For now, that'll be the temporary WS movement mouse one. So that works fine. And we both so, so we got both of them working good. That's all that we needed for this. Now, if you want to add other ones, I'll show you guys how to do it. You can close out as you're good to go. All you got to do is basically, if you want it to be capped so that it doesn't, well, actually, no matter how you do this, it's fine. This, I'll show you guys a simple way because we do have a very simple solution. So I'll show you guys quickly. So if you create a sprite, make sure to do SPR and then say we did uh, OBS for obstacle. Now edit the sprite. We can make this whatever we want. So if it was just a 32 by 32, you don't have to copy this. Don't worry. This, if you're already done, you're good, content. Don't worry about it. But I'm just making a basic thing. So if we add it so that there was like some sort of a random shape thing like this, check mark it like that, that's fine. And then one thing you can do if you want it to be very precise, say you have a random shape like this, go to precise, check this. And as you see, if you, you don't have to do this part, but modifying mask, you'll see that it's all highlighted dark. That means that that's what it's going to collide into. So this will be like perfect collision to not being a square because if you see if I check that off it's a square around it if you want it to be very precise check that and you're good now all you have to do is you just basically create an object and you can name it whatever you named it before whatever the object is so we're going to name it obj obs give it the exact sprite and check it solid now if I was to go back into room test and I was to go to objects and then you select it 
put those in wherever. Now these are obviously random shapes, but that's the goal of it. So you run it, this is going to work fine. That's basically how you would add anything else. As you can see, you bounce off of it fine. You don't really get caught in it or anything, even with it being a random size shape, all that. So that's perfect. That's pretty much how you go about adding all ones. Not too tricky. We're gonna get rid of these though. I'm not gonna be using them. If you wanna use whatever shapes, feel free to. You don't have to do a solid square. You can do whatever style you would like to. So that's going to be it, guys. That's it for this episode. I know it's a shorter one, but that's all we needed to cover was just basically creating walls and obstacles and basically just collision with it. So we have the WS collision. Obviously, like I said before, it's more of a temporary one. I don't want to go too in-depth with it and use the wrong one, something that'll screw with the game later in time that we have to fix so that it would make a lot of complications. I want to do it right the first time. So... Once we set up the system, because this is a very easy system to change. All you have to do is delete one little piece. So there might be a separate mini episode. Maybe it'll be part of a full episode. I'm not sure yet. I will definitely include in the title saying if we are going to be changing it. Next week though, guys, we will be working on enemy creation and path system movement. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like down below. If you're brand new to the channel, I recommend you subscribe so you'll get notified as soon as the new episodes come out every single Tuesday. Thank you guys so much. Comment below, guys, if something goes wrong, if you have any errors, any issues, something you need help with. Say you want to alter something on your own, you want to try something unique. Comment it. I can help you. I can do my best to help you and give you any advice that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to be a legend, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay.